Today we're going to cover generating work orders within the Alarm Builder application. Now after you log in, you'll be able to go to a few different tabs to create work orders. The first is the Work Orders tab. When we open the Work Orders tab, we'll be able to select New Work Order. You'll have to select your customer first. So if I select Erica here, I'll have to pick a site and then I'll have to select uh, a system if I ch so choose. You don't have to select the system. Uh, you can create a work order just for a site, but if it is service call or work order for a specific system, you're going to want to make sure you select it for that. So all the appropriate information as far as parts, equipment, notes, etc., are available uh, for your technician in the field when completing this work order. So when I click that system, I'm going to select OK and that will generate a new work order for Erica LaMagna. Now this isn't going to create an appointment. You'll have to create the appointment and we'll cover that in another video. The next place you can do it is within a customer's account. So I have Erica's account open right now. I can come to the work orders tab and I can select new work order. I'll have to pick a site and then I can select the system if I'd like just as I did in the other tab or if I want to drill into the individual site system, I can select one and create one from there. So I'm going to go into this system under Erica's first site, and you'll see a work orders tab. Within here, I can click new work order, and this will allow me to generate and create a new work order right from here. The last place I can create a work order would be within my calendar. So I have my work orders for Adam. I'm just going to select the time slot here. I'm going to pick the type. It's going to be a work order. I'm going to create a new work order from this appointment, and then I'm going to select my customer. I'll pick Erica again. Again, I'll have to pick the specific site, and then system if I'd like. Click Save, and this will generate a work order 